Jay, what was your biggest takeaway from your experience in the Bahamas? Uh, you just got to match every, every team intensity, every game out. Um, you just got to be ready to play from jump. That, that was the main thing I learned from the Bahamas. It was a bad ending, obviously, but the first two wins were really quality. Did you feel like you guys were disrespected at all, not being in the poll on Monday? Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like we should have been at least top 20 with uh, the two quad one wins we had those first two days. Yeah, I definitely think we should be ranked somewhere in the top 20. How's the response been from you and the team this week after the tournament? Uh, pretty good. You know, uh, of course, the last day didn't go the way we wanted. But we, we, we've been locked in in practice. JQ been locked in more than ever. And the rest of the guys, so I think we ready. We moved on from that last game. We ready to go, man. What do you think about Ole Miss based off of what you've seen from them so far? Oh, they good. They real good. They got a solid, so, some solid guards, and they got a huge big in the middle. So they play like four guards and one, um, one big. So they pretty tough. They shoot it well. So. Yeah. How, how do you think Musa? Cisse getting eligible, do you think that changes things at all for them? Uh, yeah, because that's another big, another shot blocker, another rim runner. Uh, Musa good. I like Musa. Yeah. Is Penny, uh, obviously you're not from here, has Penny told you at all about kind of rivalry of sorts, I guess, not like conference or anything, but they're only an hour down the road, mm -hmm. anything of that sort? Nah, he never told me, but, you know, I watched a lot, a lot of uh, Memphis basketball, so I kind of know about the rivalry. Has there been anything that's there has been a, like a concentrated emphasis on this week since, since you guys got back? Yeah, the main thing I would I would say that we've been focused on focusing on the most is playing faster, playing with a uh, playing with pace, a tempo, um, just trying to get score as many points and rebounding like. We give up, we gave up a lot of uh, offensive rebound in the uh, Bahamas, so yeah, we're trying to limit that this year, this next game, uh, and the rest of the season. Go ahead, I'm good. Uh, from your perspective, what's been the kind of the root of the rebounding problem? Uh, just not really finding a man and boxing out. You know, we we've been doing a lot of boxing out drills, so I I really don't think we will have a problem with that no more. Um, we're a little bit undersized, but. With me playing the four, but you know that's that's not an excuse. We're gonna pick it up. Has the the rebounding issues uh, made an impact on the, the pace of play that you guys try to run? Try you, to run with? Yeah, definitely. Because like if we keep giving up offensive rebound, we can't get out and transition and run like we want to. If we can't secure the ball, so that's definitely one of the problems. We can't. Yeah, why well, we can't? Do you enjoy the triple run? Mm -hmm. time there. Did you just enjoy the whole thing? Yeah, I enjoyed it all, man. I told myself I wanted to go back after the season and, um, and take a nice little vacation. Like, the water nice, everything nice out there. And as far as the atmosphere, man, the crowd was lit. We had more fans than I expected, so yeah, that was a real nice experience. So, anytime you're in one of the videos that we do, whether it's a availability or anything like that, your family is all over. Right. <laughs> talking about you, talking about how proud they are of you. What's your what's your conversations have been, been like with them over Thanksgiving, over you know that kind of stuff? Like, are you uh, are they proud of you? Have they told you how proud of you they are? Yeah, my my mom and my brother have, and my grandma. Yeah, a lot of my family, my uncles. But I don't really see the comments on there. I don't really be like on Twitter and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I, I hear it from them, whether it's on FaceTime or through a text. They always tell me they're proud of me. They're very vocal. Yeah, very.